we have one more leg of the ethical triangle, and that is the adjustment card. Now, adjustment connects Givora and Tifret, and it is as it sounds. Adjustment is about the opportunity, having the opportunity to make changes. If you look at the card, you see that the Hebrew letter associated with adjustment is Lamed. Lamed means an ox goad, and that is then a tool that you could use to nudge your oxen along if they were getting off the path, you could nudge them back on the path. And if you're on the wrong path, maybe you realize this isn't exactly where I wanted to be, you can nudge yourself back onto a different path. And that's what adjustment is all about. That's really the difference between adjustment and justice and the Rider Waite Smith. And Crowley kind of expanded the meaning of that. There is an element of justice. You can see the Egyptian goddess Ma'at in this card, her headdress, and with the scales um, and the alpha and the omega, these, you know, the beginning and the ending. So, but it is also the chance to move those scales around. It's not finished. You're not weighed and done. You have the chance to make changes before you get to Tifret. So this might be, I th maybe this is the only time really I can see why Crowley preferred to put um, the adjustment card on the path between Chesed and Gavora and the Lust card in between Gavora and Tifret because when you have adjustment above them and then you have these two, Lust and the Hermit, are opposites and it, it makes a lot of sense for them to be meeting together in the middle and balance in Tifret. So, um, you know, I think there's an argument for that. When I'm reading myself, I like to have the Lust card in between Chesed and Gevorah because that path is ruled by Leo and Lust is a Leo card. And the path between Gevorah and Tifret with Adjustment because Adjustment is a Libra card and that path is Libra. But see what makes the most sense to you. So what happens in the ethical triangle and does this help us all with readings? Well, what happens in the ethical triangle is you're looking at ethics as opposed to morals. Ethics are universal values and morals are personal values. So if you were if you drew cards and they were all all four, five, six cards, then maybe part of that message is that you need to look a little bit more at what your motivations are. Are they higher motivations, maybe you're not considering the big picture, maybe you're focusing a little bit too much on your own question and not seeing that there is a bigger question there. So that's where this comes into play. Now personally I like to create another triangle on the tray of life, a fourth triangle called the moral triangle which is immediately below the ethical triangle which I'll talk about in another video, but I like that reflection. I've never seen this written anywhere. I'm very possibly just making this up, but I like the idea that both of them are on the tree of life and that once you get past Tiferet, you you know, you are in a more earthly part of the tree of life. So it makes sense to me that you would then have morals below the ethics. And one other thing to consider when you're thinking about the ethical triangle is that the four princes all reside in Tiferet. So if you were to draw a prince in your reading or whatever court card you put there, how might that affect your interpretation of that card that you know makes these cards quite noble? Is there a nobility to these cards? Is there a balance to these cards? You know, what do you think? See you in the next video.